Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It's currently 6.45 and we are headed to the gym. Y'all, I'm in the sauna. I look so scared. It's hot as heck in here. Like, it's really hot. But they say that using the sauna after your workout like boosts your metabolism around like 15% for three hours. So let's see. I'm nervous. Like, I hope that door can open because I cannot imagine being stuck in here. That workout sesh was really good. I really loved it. I love working out. I love working out. And that sauna was hot as f Oh, bro, it was hot. It was very hot. But I looked on TikTok and they, of course, were talking about how the benefits of it are really great after your workout, but you're kind of supposed to be naked. I personally don't want to be naked, but I probably will like maybe take my shirt off and have it just be me and my sports bra maybe because it was very very hot in there and you really aren't supposed to bring your phone in there either because like my phone was about to overheat but i feel great so i think i'm gonna start doing it after my workouts now but anyways hi you guys today is friday so we are gonna get into this vlog we have a lot of things to do this week for these next few days you know it's like officially officially fall now of course fall started in september but now that it's november it's like like really really fall you know we're getting ready for thanksgiving you know halloween took all of our energy so all of us are happy to be in the house now so we're really getting into the fall spirit so it's gonna be like some fall decorating that i'm gonna do searching for christmas trees and things like that and really just resetting and making sure like reminding myself to get my shit together like wrapping this year up you know adulting and just remembering what my priorities are i'm just really happy like i had a really rough week these past few weeks and i started going to the gym so i'm journaling again so now i feel much better and i'm excited to talk to you guys so i hope you guys enjoy this video let's go ahead and get into it <laughs> Thank you. 
so grocery shopping and car wash was a success of course it's so exciting i love that car wash it is it is actually so fun i love it but we are literally taking trips in less than a week like we're catching flights in less than a week so we got some travel side things i just want to show you guys because the loofahs are so cute they're so tiny like you are so cute. We are preparing for traveling as we are going back home for Thanksgiving. We're gonna visit family and the tickets weren't so expensive. We had to book our trip to be like almost two weeks long. So we're gonna be there for a while, which isn't really that bad. We kind of miss our family. So we're excited to go spend some time with them. But we got a little bit of groceries just to last us until next Wednesday. It's Friday, so. So that's like five days. We're gonna make us some lasagna. That should be great for leftovers. It's gonna be plant-based. I'm really excited. What else can I update you guys on? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really excited about the fall and the like wintery things coming in. A lot of people are already playing Christmas music, which I personally do not have a problem with. I love getting into the Christmas spirit. It's like, why make it only a month thing? You know, Your Christmas is, ends the 25th. So like, you don't even get the full month really celebrated. So why not start in November? So we were looking at Christmas trees and seeing what we're gonna go for. It'd be cute to get a frosted one, but the frosted ones are so expensive. So we're gonna have to see what we can do. We might have to do a little DIY or something. I don't know. We might do that in the next vlog when we come back from our trip. I think that would be perfect. But now I'm gonna go edit because I have a lot of work to do. I've been procrastinating. I've been a little burnt out. So I haven't been working like I'm supposed to, but that's okay. We all need our rest. So now I'm about to go work because I'm in a much better mood. But officially made it back from going out and having lunch of course it is much later now we relaxed for a little bit but i had sushi and dalen had ramen we are obsessed with japanese food right now it's crazy like she keeps getting that same ramen and i keep getting sushi but we are back now so we've had lunch and now i think it's around seven so now we're about to make our dinner we're gonna make the lasagna but i wanted to talk to you guys about kombucha i don't know like if you haven't tried kombucha yet you need to try it just try it i was so scared of trying it because i'm like oh my god like all the healthy people are saying they like it and of course i am healthy too but sometimes i get afraid that the healthy things aren't as tasty like they're good for you but are they tasty i was like let me try it and ever since i've tried it i get a kombucha every single time i go grocery shopping every single time and when i don't have a kombucha like my life falls to shambles literally <laughs> If you can get past the apple cider vinegar flavor, it's great. Like it's so good for you. It's a probiotic tea, like keeps your gut good. The flavors in it, like this one is a citrus one. I love this flavor, but so many other brands have great flavors too. I love that one. And I've shown you guys the other brand in, in past videos, but those are the two brands that I really like. But if you haven't tried kombucha yet, you need to try it. But I'm about to get cozy. I'm still in my jeans right now, but I'm about to get comfortable, cook dinner, and then I wanna unbox or unravel that blanket. I'm so excited. And then we're probably gonna get some old Christmas decorations that we have from last year and probably put them up around the room. But yeah, I'm really, I'm so excited about this Christmas season. It's literally like so perfect and it's gonna be so cozy and I'm so excited. I also forgot to share with you guys that I just made a purchase. Someone please take my card. I just ordered some skims. If you guys watched my previous video, my November reset video, you guys will see that I had the sugar plum set, the short sleeve and the boy shorts. 
whatever they're called. Yeah, the boy shorts, I think. And I got the sugar plum color because they did not have my size available in the ruby in the medium. So I was like, uh, I need to get this set though because I wanna work with skims and I just need to get a skim set. Like I just need one. So I just went ahead and got the sugar plum, like, you know. But tell me why I checked the skim blow up site today and they literally had the ruby in my size. Long sleeve too. So I'm like, I can't, like I literally saw a TikTok like a week ago that was like when you were holding back on purchasing something and then you go look at it again and it's sold out. Like I'm not letting that happen to me. This is an investment. This is a business investment. But I did express shipping. So hopefully it'll get to me before my flight. I will show you guys. I will try it on for you guys. I'm just so excited about it. It's, it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be perfect. But yeah, let's get comfortable. That looks too real. Good morning, you guys. I know I did not <laughs> record much last night, but I got pretty sleepy and I did do some journaling yesterday because yesterday was 11, 11, 22, and it was a portal for energy and it was a good day to manifest. Any day is a good day to manifest, but knowing that numbers are aligned like that, really just brings more energy to the manifestation process. I regret not saying much about it yesterday. I did just get so into it and I forgot to record and then I went to sleep. But I do want to talk to you guys today about how I manifest and the things I do. If you've never seen it before or if you just want to hear how another person does it, I would love to show you guys how I journal and how I manifest. But yeah, it's like 8 a.m. or 9 a.m right now so i'm about to get up get my day started i also have a lot of content to do today too so this is like a day in the life of a content creator how i manifest day portion of the vlog but yeah now i am going to go ahead and get my day started can you guys believe that i'm wearing platforms right now let's see what my real eye is Is that bad? <laughs> that is bad. I like a munchkin. I'm wearing these Uggs. I love these Uggs. They are really comfortable and really tall, but do not lose your balance in these. Your ankles are breaking. I promise. But now I'm about to get into skincare. And because I've been a little burned out, a little bit, a little bit, a teeny tiny burnout, I have not really been taking care of myself the way I know do so i have not been doing my skincare for real the way i usually do so i think i'm gonna go all in today do everything i think i'm gonna do a face mask do some eye masks really just to get into taking care of myself you know because i think i deserve it and i need to remind myself that i'm not bitch okay i deserve to be pampered i deserve to be taken care of i deserve a nice life and you guys do too. You guys need to be telling yourself that too. But I'm about to cleanse my face and then I'm gonna put on a face mask. And then once I relax for a little bit, I put on my face mask, I'm gonna go show you guys how I manifest. So the face mask can sit for a little while and then we're gonna come back and do the rest of my routine. Then after that, the day will really be getting started. Which clay mask should I use? Should I use this Korean one that's gray or Gleeman's um, vitamin C clay mask? <laughs> this one's yellow. This one is like basic and like I've had it for years and like I love it, but it's gray. It's still cute when you put it on, but this one is like yellow and it really stands out. But when it comes to washing it off, it's a pain in the butt. It's like it's yellow, yellow. And this one's almost gone. Should I do the gray? I'm gonna do the green one. Let's do our face mask. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. And this brush just makes it so much easier. If you play your favorite movie, laying right beside me, I don't mind where. I've really become a morning person. 
I was gonna get up and go to the gym again this morning, but I think it's also good to prioritize recovery and rest. And I have a yoga mat, so I can always work out at home. That is why I'm really, really loving my routine that I've created because I worked out for a week straight, which is something that I've never been able to do. I'm someone that has always struggled with consistency and just being able to stick to something for a long period of time. But in general, I have been in this fitness journey since April. And I've just been patient with myself, just like doing what I can. Also what, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Now I'm actually in the gym like consistently now. And I only was using my yoga mat beforehand, doing like at home yoga and Pilates workouts. And that's gotten me far, okay? Doing that has, is like typically when before when I would go to the gym, like when I was just doing gym workouts and I would show up every, you know, once in a while. I had such a hard time, but I haven't been to the gym in months and I just went, I just started going like two weeks ago and like the the technique that I have is so different the form that I have is so different the way that I work out now is so different because I'm incorporating Pilates and yoga into my routines now like that is what I prioritize first and I'm telling you it's just a different body it's a different body I'm telling you it's a different body <laughs> But now I just, I love the gym now. And it was always a thing where I was like, I was forcing myself to go to the gym because I felt like I had to. And now it's like I'm going because I want to. And that's so exciting. But I also know to not overwhelm myself with things because I get overwhelmed, I get burnt out. So I am, um, even though I wanted to go today, I decided this morning that I'm not gonna go. I'll go ahead and make sure I get eight hours of sleep because that is important. And the rest, and then I'll probably do some yoga and Pilates later, you know, like make sure I still have the same intensity, but at home. So I love it. I absolutely love it. But our face mask is done now. I was going to add some eye mask, but I didn't really make space for them. So I'm going to just leave it like this. And now I'm going to go journal. Show you guys how I journal and how I manifest. Okay, so now I'm about to show you guys how I journal slash manifest. Sometimes we manifest for the wrong reasons and the things that we desire can sometimes be clouded by what we think we need where we think we should be at so i always recommend journaling before you manifest to get a clear mind so that you can just be at a space where you know exactly what it is you want why you want it and how you want it so what i typically do is if i'm having a rough day or clearly i've been super anxious but i really need to to manifest something or I need to make sure that I'm in the right headspace before something. I go ahead and just let it all out. I write down everything that is stressing me out, but I always end it with like, even after venting and complaining, I always end it with, depending on, you know, who your higher being is, I always say, even though this is stressing me out, I know that you will figure it out. And I am so thankful. I know you'll handle it all for me. Thank you. I know you'll figure it out thank you thank you thank you so much so even after complaining and saying how crappy a day i had i always say i know i'll figure it out i know the universe will guide me so thank you just always show gratitude like even be grateful for the crappy day you had because at least you're still here at the end of the day to even think about it you know so i always just stay grateful for that and say i know it'll get figured out thank you for giving me the opportunity to make things right other ways that I try and get a clear mind, I make a list of limiting beliefs that I'm letting go of and things that I'm no longer available for. So once you write these things down, you will realize like, wow, like I allow a lot of negative energy in my life. So once you get that negative energy out the way, you feel so much better. Like I have down, but I'm no longer available for negative, uninspiring friends, wasted time on things that don't matter, self-hate, ungratefulness, impatience, unnecessary judgment, hate, 
complacency, unwillingness to grow and change, and living through others' opinions. So once you have that down, just be in a mindset of a person that no longer believes those things or is available for those things. And I feel like once you get into that headspace, that mindset, doing things is so much easier. Calling in the abundance that you want, calling in the manifestations that you're trying to get is so much easier when you're in the proper mindset. So once you let go of that negative energy, you pinpoint it and you let it go, you brush it off, flip to the next page and then typically what I do sometimes I write a letter to the universe saying hi this is things that I want blah 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 be specific like explain it in a way that only you would want it and you would understand it don't explain it in a way that is very like common like if you want an apartment don't just say I want an apartment say I want an apartment that feels like home to me that is by all of my favorite stores, that is by all my favorite restaurants. I want it to remind me of this type of aesthetic and I want it blah 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 and roughly around this time and I want to experience this when I get there. I want to be in this type of mindset when I get to the apartment. Like make it very specific to you. Go into detail. Seriously go into detail. Like right a whole page, two pages, three pages, however many pages you need to go into detail about what it is that you want. And once you do that, say thank you for even being granted the idea of it because if it wasn't meant for you, you wouldn't have even thought of it. So be thankful that the idea is in your mind and that you are destined for it and then just let go after that. Sometimes I obsess over my manifestations and it drives me absolutely insane because majority of the time when we're manifesting things, we're manifesting things that are out of our control or are things that may seem like a miracle. So you have to be able to let go and let the higher power have control over it. So when I manifest, I write it down and I let it go and I try my best to even forget about it. And that is when the best results come when I kind of just let go of it and not identify with it because with or without my manifestation coming true I need to know that I'm still going to be okay even if I don't get that apartment even if I don't get the dream body I'm still going to be in that mindset of still being grateful for whatever it is I am granted so yeah because I think a lot of us manifest with our egos, even though it is kind of spiritual, it still has its own egoness to it. So we have to remember that, yes, it is okay to want these things and to desire things, but we have to remember that our life is still valued and still precious even without these things that we want. And I think that is the energy that you have to go into. If you identify too much with it, it won't come the way you want it. And yeah, it'll just get really messy. But that is how I manifest. And I've manifested some great things. Even the things that I thought I wanted, I ended up not getting and realizing why. Realizing that it was not in alignment what I was trying to manifest and that I was destined for something better or more meant for me. And that is okay. Like. Our lives are our lives, our journeys are our journeys, and life is gonna happen the way it's meant to be, especially if you are always following your heart and your soul and just moving through love, so yes. I hope you guys really, really, really take that advice. Just get a journal and just write. Write how you feel, write the things that you want, write the things that you don't want. Just get all these things out your head and put them on a precious little notebook. Like, look how cute this is. This is so cute. I love it. But now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face mask off. It is getting, it's pretty dry. I'm gonna wash my face mask off, do some laundry, and then I'll probably do some yoga. Cause I'm feeling really good today. And when you are feeling good, let yourself feel good. Keep doing things that'll make you feel good. I'm riding this energy of feeling good. I love using this Murad Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. I feel like it has helped a lot with my dark marks. It just helps fade them. 
Next, I'm gonna go in with this niacinamide. This also helps with blemishes and hyperpigmentation. I promise you, you won't even realize that you have hyperpigmentation until you actually like use products that help. And you're like, oh my God, I never noticed that I had uneven skin tone. Next, I'm gonna go in with hyaluronic acid. This is like crack to my skin. It feels so good. Then I go in with the CeraVe Lightweight Lotion. I love this because a lot of moisturizers are very thick and like you just feel it. I feel like it clogs your pores, but this one, oh, it just, it just goes on so smooth. It feels amazing. Okay, after that, I go in with Dermalogica's Dynamic Skin Recovery, the SPF 50 Broad Spectrum. And it helps with aging. I'm not really stressed about aging, aging happens, but if the product helps with it, then you know, but I love it. And it leaves like no white cast. And it's like a great, like, I love a, a SPF that you like feel that it's like protecting your skin. Skincare is done. So happy that I took care of my skin today. Okay, so I'm about to make a TikTok for Wawa. I'm so excited. They sent me a package with a gift card, a t-shirt, a hoodie, and some stickers, and a portable charger. Like, they sent me a lot, and I'm just really excited. I think I'm, I'm gonna make another TikTok about it because that was really cool of them to do. I posted the video on TikTok, and then they reached out to me on my Instagram and asked for my info so that they could send it out to me, and I'm just like, oh my God, that is so cool i'm just so happy to like finally be noticed by people and companies and brands that's really exciting so i'm about to make a tiktok for them let them know how cool it was for them to do that and then probably eat there tonight for dinner i did want to try their peppermint drinks i saw they had some seasonal drinks so i'm gonna go and try that and just make it like a whole you know ordeal so that's really exciting. This is the hoodie they gave me. It is actually really soft. Like, I actually really like this. But now I'm about to go film. I just finished filming the unboxing, get ready with me for TikTok. And now we are about to go to Wawa. So I'm gonna film that part. Then we're gonna be done. And filming this content is free because they gave me a gift card. So I'm gonna make sure it's activated. I'm so excited for that. Okay, I wanted to unbox or unpackage the blanket with you guys. I was supposed to do it the other day, but I keep forgetting. to go to sleep. I wanna go to the gym in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night now. Wrap my hair up, put things on, and I will talk to you guys in the morning when I am headed to the gym. Good morning, you guys. It is 
40 something. I just remembered my gym doesn't open until 8 a.m. on Sunday. So I am actually too early, but I'm just gonna stay in my neighborhood parking lot because it's about to drizzle for a little while. They said maybe 30 minutes. So I'm probably just gonna like let my car warm up for a good while, like actually let it warm up. Then I'll probably head there, but I just don't feel like going back in the house. Like once I'm out the house, I wanna stay out because I'll probably end up going back in there and probably end up going back to sleep. And I really wanted to go to the gym today. So I'm just gonna hang out, enjoy my Celsius. Not sponsored, but should be. I'm probably gonna spark my Celsius and probably just wake up a little more because I am a little tired, but yeah. Currently 7.53. I've been out here since 6.50 something. So I've been sitting out here for an hour. It's been raining and I know it's been a vibe though. I'm not upset, it's been a vibe. Just kind of sitting in the car and like, doing nothing i didn't like look at anything i didn't play anything i kind of just chilled for a little bit and now i'm drinking my celsius and the doors are opening shortly i see a lot more cars piling in i see a lot of people forgot or didn't know that this place didn't open until eight so i'm not the only one which i think is really funny I just left out the gym. I was gonna go into the sauna, but there was someone in there like taking up the entire space, like one person taking up the entire space in there. It's very unfortunate, but I'm just gonna go home and maybe take like a hot shower so that like I still get that kind of sauna e feel, but the workout was great. I'm about to head home now, take a shower, get clean, feel pretty, and today is gonna be pretty productive. See you guys at the house. That movie was so good. Nearly cried so many times. What a movie. I feel inspired. I can't even go into the real world regular now. Like my life has changed forever. I'm so dramatic, but no, that movie was so good. If you not plan on watching it, plan on watching it. Hi you guys, I know I haven't talked to you guys all day, but I have been very busy with recording and handling business. I recorded, oh my God, I've recorded like three different TikToks. Um, actually like five, now that I think about it. I recorded a decent amount of TikToks, but we have been binge watching The L Word, Generation Q, and it's really good. You see in the bag right there. It's a really good show, but we are going to be baking cookies tonight. We're gonna make it very festive. I need to light that candle. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna light that candle. Maybe we'll play some Christmas music while baking or something, but it's gonna be really fun. But I I fully also, I fully packed my bag, my suitcase for our flight. So that's good. And my suitcase is like, yeah. like filled to the brim. It's really bad. Might try and Pressure go. the bag. And my other bag, it's not <laughs> my bag. It's Dayla's bag. I had to pretty much take majority of that space. But we are gonna try and, we're gonna try. We're gonna see if we can look for a bigger suitcase, but I think it's fine. I might leave it, but we'll see. But yes, this is the drink of the day. This poppy prebiotic soda. It is so good. It's so flavorful and it really does help. And it's only 20 calories. I think that's great. A lot of sodas just have like a lot of sugar and like you'll be drinking all of your calories in just like one soda, but this is pretty good. Good morning, you guys. I have made it to my car to go to the gym. I am very proud of myself for being able to do it, but gosh, am I tired. 
that. I was only able to really get four hours of sleep, honestly, but that was because I was very busy yesterday wrapping up content. So yeah, I'm just in a very weird position where I'm like happy to be up because I love going to the gym, but I'm also like, uh, I really need to be getting some sleep. So I'm gonna be drinking my Celsius. I bought a four pack, so I need to be drinking them up anyways. Just wanted to go to the gym one last day before the trip. Yeah, the trip is tomorrow. I'm gonna really just make sure that I'm rested, well prepared, you know, not stressed to go ahead and get this last session out while I'm here before I pretty much have to find a new gym for the next two weeks. I'm gonna figure it out though. There's no way I'm gonna drop this habit. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the gym, play some jams, and I will see you guys there. <laughs> So we are packed up and ready to go. I think I have maybe have one more thing to put in my suitcase, but besides that, we are ready to go. I'm so excited. I just finished my nails. They're so cute. I honestly missed short nails. I personally do not really enjoy long nails. I feel like I love them because they look good on my hands. And when it comes to like taking pictures and creating content, it looks aesthetically pleasing, but short nails is the way to go for me. I love the functionality. I like the aesthetic of the short nails too, honestly, but yes, Daylon is picking us up something to eat before, you know, we get ready. It's still only 12.45 right now, and we aren't leaving for the airport until like 5.30, so we have a lot of time. But yeah, I'm gonna film a TikTok getting ready with him for the airport because I kind of want to get ready as if like I'm like a celebrity or something. Like I want to like in my head, of course, I'm just like in real life, of course, I'm just going back home to Virginia to visit family for Thanksgiving. But in my head, I am going to be getting ready to catch a flight because I have a photo shoot and because I'm getting ready to film a movie in Europe or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yes, I am using this as a chance to manifest and visualize and yeah but i'm really excited i was nervous about this all week but i'm happy that it has come together and i'm really excited to visit family i haven't seen them in a really long time i kind of just got up packed and ran away a little bit so i think it'll be good to go visit them and stay for a little while and really enjoy my family but I am about to take this as a chance to pay you guys to remember to like and subscribe, please. I have been so consistent lately. I think you guys should be very proud of me. If any of you guys have been here like for a really, really, really long time, you will, I don't know, it's just my life has just been all over the place, up and down, everywhere. But this is the most stable I have been in a very long time. Stable mentally, you know, physically, emotionally, even with my content I have been very consistent lately and I'm very proud of myself so I feel like that deserves you know a like and a subscriber I have just so so much planned and I'm just so excited to really really be doing this because I mean I've been doing YouTube since I was 16 I'm 20 so about four well i've always been a content creator i've always 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 was doing cool things on my instagram i was always creating videos as a kid you know but i really started to take youtube kind of seriously when i was 16 but because i was still like a kid and still kind of focused on 
you know, school and sports and stuff. I really wasn't that into it, but now I feel like I can say that I am truly, truly, truly dedicated and committed to YouTube now. And I officially started with TikTok earlier this year in like April. I pretty much said early this year, I said, cut the crap cut the bullshit okay i'm tired of saying what i want to do and not actually doing it so i got my shit together a lot happened a lot happened earlier this year a lot happened earlier this year <laughs> but that'll be a story for another day i one day i will break it down to you guys everything that has went down but i'm happy that it all happened because now i'm at a point where Every day I am who I am. Every day I do what I want to do, what I feel as though I need to do. You know, I prioritize myself and the things that are important to me. And being a content creator is currently very important to me. And every day I am working. Even though you don't see me post, know that I am working. I am editing, I am creating ideas, I am posting elsewhere, creating this because you guys, I am a Gemini. I have a lot of, a lot of hats. So I do a lot, I plan a lot, I have a lot in store. So not only am I just a YouTuber, I'm a TikToker. I have a podcast that of course I haven't been, you know, doing, but I still think about it and still am planning for it. I am a there are a lot of things that I am just working on mentally. Like even though you may not, you all may not see it physically, mentally I am preparing myself for many, many, many things. So I would just love it and appreciate it if you guys did want to stick around for the journey because I promise you in the next five years, like Ivily is going to be someone. I promise you she's going to be someone. I promise you. Okay. And wouldn't it just be amazing to be like, like, yeah, I saw her when she only had a thousand subscribers. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I really love you guys, especially if you actually are watching through my videos and liking, you know, I love you. And don't be afraid to comment. Don't be afraid to message me. Don't be afraid to reach out because I love you guys. And why wouldn't I want to talk to you guys, you know? But yeah, I'm going to relax. <laughs> I am rambling a little bit, but I'm going to relax for a little bit. Calm my nerves before the flight prepare myself to film a video and eat lunch and i will talk to you guys later just knew that we were not gonna make it through. I don't know why. The people that check you, like, I can understand why they'd be, like, irritated. I mean, they work and deal with people over and over and over again all day, but I just knew I was gonna get yelled at about what I had. But actually, it went well, so I'm excited about that. But we are now just chilling. We don't board for another 40 minutes or so, so I will update you guys then.